Hey, I'm Senator Cory Booker from the great state of New Jersey. I am excited about Read Across America. And I'm really excited about this book, about keeping your head up. In fact, that's the name of the book, Keep Your Head Up. And it's written by a New Jersey author, Aaliyah King Neal. So excited to share this with you. And of course, the pictures are by Charlie Palmer. I wake up with my head down. No one said good morning, time to get up. So I overslept. I'm kind of awake, but mostly not. Dad tells me to hustle. That used to be a dance, and now it means move fast. But I can't move fast because my sparkly toothpaste with the not too minty taste is missing. My sister used it to make slime. Toothpaste doesn't even go in slime. I walk to school with my head up. Even though I feel a little scrunchy, it can still be a good day. Any day can be a good day if you try. But as soon as I get to school, I am so mad. It's Monday. I'm supposed to have on my gym uniform. Now I can't play kickball and I'm the best kicker in my class. I try not to scrunch up my eyebrows tight or stick out my lips or cross my arms, but my bad day face slips out. Maybe today I will be the recycler. That's a class job where you get to go for a long walk. I like long walks. I can take my time and stop and say hi to Miss King. She always checks to see if my head's up. There is no long walk for me today. Mia gets to go. I just know she stopped at the cafeteria. I tell my teacher Mia should be back, but the teacher just says, stay on task, D. In writing class, I get the last laptop, the one with the sticky space bar. Mia put a little dot with a marker on the bottom so she knows not to pick it, but I always forget to check. In math, I say the answer before the teacher calls on me. The teacher says my answer is right, but I am not right because I didn't raise my hand. Raising your hand is not math. Now I'm scrunchy again. Miss King would say, D, keep your head up. So I do. It's Noah's day to show and tell. He has a rocket made out of a water jug. I try to help him bring it to the front, but then the whole thing gets smudged. I get paint on my uniform and the teacher's desk. Now I feel like the thing that comes after scrunchy because Noah is mad at me. My uniform is ruined. And the teacher is upset about the mess. My mom and dad always talk about meltdowns. A meltdown is when you want to keep your head up, but it won't stay. A meltdown is when your face is wet and your body is hot and your throat is scratchy and you can't see well. I have a meltdown. The teacher sends me to the principal's office. I see the eighth graders, but they don't even wave at me and ask how my brothers are. I walk through the cafeteria, but it's empty. I stop at the nurse and she won't even take my temperature. So I walk to the office with my head down. Miss King doesn't say anything about the meltdown. I always think she will look scrunchy when the teacher sends me to her office but she looks like her everyday self. She has books and things to look at. So I just do that. 
She has smooth, round records and real turntables, too. Miss King always says records are just like me. They seem complicated, but they're really not. You just have to be gentle with them. You have to hold them the right way. If you don't, they get scratched. And the scratches are hard to fix. My mom and dad come to pick me up. They look at Miss King and they all have the same expression. Can I go outside when I get home, I say? My mom says, no. We have to go to my brother's soccer game. Can I use my tablet when we get home, I say? My dad says, no. It'll be time for bed. So, this day won't get any better. I say, it might, but if it doesn't get better, what can you do? Mom says, I still feel scrunchy, but not too much. Keep my head up. I say it, but I tell my mom and dad and Miss King that I don't really want to. Miss King says, that's okay. I just have to want to try. Thank you for reading with me today. It is so exciting to read, period, but especially today, it's exciting to read for a read across America.